everybody just want to jump on here and tell you what's going on here uh, pretty cool thing uh, I went up to my sister's yesterday so I'm behind on videos and stuff so, uh, I usually get up there around noon and don't get home till 12 1 2 o'clock in the morning spend the day with her two or three times a month uh, it's my sister who uh, who lost her husband? I'll show you here real quick who I built that that model for, and uh, she gave it back to me after he passed away of his real car back when they got married. Anyway, I go up there and spend the day with her, me run around, and her son Sean. I've mentioned him a few times. Uh, if without him, I wouldn't be building models right now, probably. Gave me another box of stuff. Check it out. So I'm going to open this with all you guys out there. You guys are my buds. And uh, I'm excited. You all know I don't get stuff very often. So it's going to be cool. And this he threw in at the last minute. He bought this. What's that? Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's not like. It's, like, it's not eBay. But you go on there and buy something. It's called. Mercur or Mercai or some weird name. I've never been on it because it drives me nuts because there's so much cool stuff. But he bought a kit on there from a lady and she threw this in uh, for free. He didn't even know, I guess. Uh, she sent him the model and this was in there with the one that he bought. And she didn't charge him for it. And I saw it and I'm like, man, I remember those. Those are really cool. He says, you want it? I'm like, no, man, Billy, he's not going to take it. So we'll look at this first real quick. It's been painted. I've never built one of these. Uh, it's all in different kinds of languages there. That's the, the brand. I don't even know if the Hasegawa is still around or what they're doing. I don't know. It's kind of like a promo kit that you build. It's no motor, interior chassis, and some chrome. I don't have any thing to strip that with, so I'm gonna just sand on it. Uh, he's done that a few times with some stuff he's bought. Just sanded the crap out of it, and they turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna try that. Decals are cool. Uh, it's just a uh, where's it at? He was showing me that. It's just a. Uh, it's just a. Hang on a second. It's just a flat dash. Check that out. Nothing on there. And you slap that decal on there, and then you got your dash. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, you just build it stock. Got the stock wheels, and there's the chassis. Nothing else has been painted. The tires are still sealed in the bag. Whoever had it just got it out, painted it, and then put it back in the box. So again, pretty simple little kid. So I was just mentioning the other day in my painting all my crap video that I needed something to work on for a, for a few weeks until the group built things ready so I'm gonna start on that and build that bad boy because that's a neat car anyway I haven't opened this yet there it is right there whoops forgot to put the instructions away set those over there so there it is it's uh it's sealed got the knife here uh, we're gonna go gonna go right from I didn't cut it open first or anything. I just want everybody to be just as surprised as me with what he gave me. And uh, I'm telling you, man, uh, this guy takes care of me pretty good. Him and my sister, uh, my wife, my kids do not know what i do without him. Having a, holy crap. When it comes to my hobby and when it comes to life in general, holy crap. Check this out. Wow. Wow. Let me throw this over there. Give me some really cool looking masking tape there, it looks like. And some gold foil. I've never messed with that before. It's gold. That's freaking cool. Uh, I gotta make this where I can put it back in there. My wife wants me to take it upstairs. Hang on a second and show her. She goes, come up here and open it. And I'm like, okay, do you want to be on, on the video, be on camera? She said, no, no, I'll go ahead and open it down there. 
I almost thought I had her, but she didn't go fall for it. So I have to put it all back in here and go up and show her. But uh, damn, it's looking cool so far. That's like that little a little tire rack thing from that one company. That's pretty cool. There's a little bag of stuff. It's like a little note in there or something explaining something. I'll have to read that later. And oh here's some paint. Oh, he told me about this when I was up there last time. Anybody ever heard of this paint? Color shot? Uh, he said he he's d used it. This gloss over uh, plastic with no primer or anything, and it worked pretty good. Uh, there's kind of like it says wood, metal, plastic, and craft. And he said it worked pretty good. He's only using on one. One. So is that? Uh, so that must be yellow. So the cap doesn't indicate the color, I guess. I thought maybe that was a clear, but that's like a pink. It doesn't say a color anywhere. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Anyway, you know, I like a pink, so that's a pretty cool color. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this stuff out here really quick, see how it works. And give me some uh, parts. <laughs> Check this out. Some parts. What do we got there? What, what is that? It's like. Uh, headers and stuff. Uh, I always use headers. Oh, some blades. Check that out. Oh, you can use blades. I go through those. I'm always trying to save them until the last possible minute. Okay. We all know we use a lot of black. So that's what we got there. High gloss black. I've never used the gloss before. And he's got me some white here. Gloss White, I think that's a Walmart brand. Uh, he knows I use that. In fact, he gave me, remember, remember that last box he, I did a video on a few months ago? Uh, probably way back last fall, maybe. He gave me some uh, chrome aluminum. It's almost gone. So, I needed that. Uh, that's a nice red there. What's that called? Apple Red, that'd be cool. Ooh, look at that. Look at that down there, man. 57 shows. Okay, and this here is some more gloss black. And I'm getting better at using this kind of paint, you know, Krylon, uh, Walmart stuff. I think that is Fred Meyer stuff, uh, Valspar, all that stuff. I'm getting better at it, so, so I'm starting to like it. I used to have a heck of a time using it, so... Well, let's, uh, he, he even sealed that one up, too. <laughs> but, oh, man, I've been jonesing for a race car. Should have waited to paint all my stuff until, uh, God, I would have liked to have done some of these. Oh, there's a little drag car right there, I'm thinking. I've got a few of those. They'll pop up someday on Friday morning model cars and coffee. But those make neat little drag cars. And we all know how I feel about this. And uh, I don't have that box version of one, so that is cool. And uh, that says something on there. Hmm, excuse me. Uh, no chassis. That's all right. Maybe a, maybe a Promot chassis or something will fit on it. It's like it's been started. It's hard to do one-handed, guys. It really is. There's a peek in there. Oh, it doesn't look like it's painted. It's just wrapped up really nice. You must have bought it that way. Anybody know what kind of a chassis would fit under this? Maybe from a, an old Pro Stock or Pro Mod kit. I got that 55 Ford, whatever it is, jukebox. Uh... Promart thing out in the garage. Maybe that chassis would fit under there. Make a little. Yeah, you're getting to see all the crap around my room here. The way I'm moving around. So those are cool. I can never have enough 32s. Uh, my favorite uh, uh, street car, moderner car, whatever you want to call it. 
70 Chevelle AMT one. I like that a little bit better than the monogram, a little bit better proportioned, I think. And the 125th scale, that's really heavy. Oh, there's another one of those. I think he gave me one of those before, too. I did the drag car, the last one he gave me. I'll show you here real quick. Just a real quick look. It's it right there. We're going to do a video on that someday on Friday morning. But he gave me that, and I built the drag car. So this I'll probably build a really nice little street machine out of it. So that's cool. That's going to be a neat drag car. Except I hate two-tone paint. So... That just might be an all yellow, uh, excuse me, all yellow Maverick uh, drag car. What's under? Oh, that's heavy there. Oh, look at that, 57. Damn, guys, I'm running out of room here for shit. I mean, stuff, sorry. Didn't mean to say a bad word. But that's a nice kit. I think that's that, uh, that's that fancier one, isn't it, with the, Opening trunk and stuff that they did for a while. Uh, maybe it is a that's a hell of a big box. Damn. That makes a nice drag car too. Which I'll probably hate doing the bare metal foil on these. Yeah, this is the one with the opening trunk. It was kind of an advanced kit, they called it something. I had one that I bought at a Yards or something, they're just a lot of parts, so this would be cool. And uh, as I open these, maybe I'll uh, pause and open them and then look at them and show them real quick, make sure everything in them is is cool. But uh, what's that? Okay, let's go over here, move my coffee out of the way, move all this junk over here. Well, let's see what's in here. See, I see. It really is from my nephew, Sean Staub. Diamond Drive up at Diamond Lake. Uh, said they want to get him on a video. And his, uh, I'm sorry, this is hard to do one-handed, guys. Hey, I'm going to try and get him on a video one of these days. He's got a little model room up there. And his little desk. And he's, he's adding to it and building and stuff he's gonna get a case so he's doing he's he, we gotta get him on a video and see what he's what he's got I'll show you guys oh here we go those come in handy oh we got some paint here Ooh, what do we got here oh crap I remember he was looking at that yeah see I can't afford the new uh, monogram one or Ravel one the big brother to that that just came out I can't afford that so this will work excellent for a nice substitute and I'm probably just gonna clean that up and put it back together and leave all those decals on there look at that that is freaking cool and this must be the rest of the parts for it I got some of these big Oh, it looks like they're all there. No, it's missing a slick. But I have some of these old big giant slicks and those big giant moon caps. So I can put that. Maybe I'm going to do that first before I do that Pontiac thing. And give me some pins. Definitely can use those. Some of those I don't even have. And I used I was using up tons of paint, so there's another orange which I love. And there's a aluminum plate. I can definitely use that. I don't think I've ever used I don't think I've ever used that before in the lacquer. That's pretty cool. And what do we got here? Another silver. I've never used that one either. I gotta do a silver build, I guess. What's this one? Ooh, that's a nice color. Flaming red. That might be what I painted that uh, funny car I'll have to show you guys. And yeah, I can use some brush paint that color. Ooh, that's a nice color there. What is that? Kind of a rose color. That's pretty cool. And... 
neutral gray. That would be nice for some, some interiors. And we've got another little build in here. He knows I like these vintage builds. I got him hooked on 32, so he gets a few and he keeps a few. And then he sends me a few. And look at that. That is sweet. Nice job. Oh, look at the headers. He's got them. The guy drilled a hole in the floorboard to run them up there to the collector in the header. That is so cool. That is, I don't think that's a really old build, but that's a pretty freaking cool build. Let's look at the other side here. Yeah, that's going to look good on the shelf, just like that. Build that baby or clean that baby up. I think that's always give me a couple of these. I can always use those for holding parts. Damn. Well, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, man, uh, I don't know what to say to the guy. Oh, she's waiting there. There's another one in there. Anyway, I really appreciate what he does for me, man, because, uh, it keeps me going in the hobby, and I keep having fun with it, and it helps with stress and crap we're going through, so helps him, you know, he just lost his dad, and he's getting back into modeling, and it's helping him big time, it helps me, you know, lost my son, lost my mom, Lost my brother-in-law, so my family in this hobby keeps me going. What the heck? Oh, man, I could really use a nice set of those. I got mine up here that are just getting beat up pretty good. Look at all that goobery goo on there and stuff. I had those for a long time. These are going to be nice. Very nice. Yeah, what else is in here? Oh, uh, more sandpaper. Definitely can use that. Feels pretty fine, too. That's good. That's good. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that detail, Master. Radiator hose size, it looks like. And how do you know I needed some super glue? I got super glue gel, but I'm out of regular super glue, so that's perfect. I don't think that's gel. Oh, that one's, uh, one's gel, one isn't. Perfect. Oh, check out this hood. Damn, I should put that. I should see if I can find some more red paint and put that on that one that I just did. Because it should fit. I don't think they make that for like, I don't know if Monogram and the AMT one will work the same, but that's pretty cool. It says 70 Chevelle. So yeah, I might, or I could just paint that black and put it on there, make a mean looking street machine out of it. Oh yeah, guys have been using this for stuff, this heat, heat shrink thing. Yeah, I gotta research some more ideas for that. Look at all those colors. That'll be fun to use. I got all kinds of things I could do with that, wow. Okay, now I think we're done. And share with you guys what my nephew gave me. Brag on him a little bit. Uh, man, I really appreciate this, Sean. I don't know if he watches my videos or not. Kind of freaks him out. Like my grandkids, they won't watch my videos because it's weird seeing Papa on a video. But anyway, took 20 minutes to do all this. It, uh, thanks for watching with me, guys. Uh, when I get into these more, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do box openings and see how they look inside. Maybe I'll do a video or two on that. So this one's not crazy long. So anyway, I appreciate this, Sean. I love you, man. Don't know what I'd do without you. So that's it. Uh, gotta thank my subscribers again very much. I really appreciate it hanging in there with me. I'm glad you enjoy this stuff. I really enjoy sharing this stuff with you guys. Uh, it's all about the fun and the sharing. That's the main reason. 
And so if you haven't uh, subscribed, please do, and you can uh, join in with us, and uh, we'll have some fun. So until Friday, which, uh, which we, she, I guess is tomorrow, uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So until then, uh, take care, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.